salutations friends welcome back to my channel um today is going to be a review of the lorac pro palette 3 i'm really excited for this palette i got it like a week ago and i wanted to talk about it since i got it so let's get started so that i can just start babbling again <laughs> I got this at Ulta.com. I don't know if it's available in stores yet. I don't remember when it will be available in stores. I'll link it below um, where you can get this online and also the date that it will be available in stores. Unless it's already in stores, then I'm being redundant and silly. Um, I love Lorac products. I've always loved Lorac products. I have the Pro Palette 1, Pro Palette 2, the Unzip, the Unzip Gold. I love their stuff. Um, so when I heard about this, um, I was super excited, especially when I saw swatches and I saw what the colors are like. I was like, that is totally made for me. So um, I'm going to show you the inside. As you can see, I've already been like using it. Um, this comes with, and I'm going to count because, you know, I'm a toddler. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sixteen colors. Sixteen colors, which is a, a lot of colors, like a generous amount of colors. Um, and I'll, I'm not going to swatch again because my lighting's kind of weird, but I will link um, below um, either a YouTuber or a blogger that I think has the most accurate swatches. And I'll link that below so you can check it out. But right here we have Blanc, and then Canvas, and then Cool Taupe, and then Pink Nude, and then Clay, and then Terracotta, and Dark Brown, and Jet Black. Then on the bottom, which are the shimmers, these are the mattes. Um, we have Light Gold, Almond Pearl medallion i'm sorry i can't read the lights making like um that's light pewter amethyst rose bronze dark mocha and that is truffle um and so this is kind of like all the tops are your mattes all the bottoms are your shimmers um similar to all of the other lorac products i don't know if you've ever used lorac products they're super buttery super soft very blendable now on to the critique first and foremost um i'm wearing this today let me see if i can show you I'm wearing, um, I have Blanc all over my lids, and then uh, all over my entire eye, and then all over my lids I have Pink Nude, and then I've kind of layered Terracotta and Amethyst, and then I'm wearing Amethyst under my eyes. Um, generally with this palette, I, I really love this palette. Um, it's a really nice, very beautiful, curated um, amount of colors. They're rusty. There's a few cool tones, but it's very, I almost want to say they're like fall colors. They're really beautiful. Um, I like it very much. The only thing I would say is the, um, the palette isn't very adventurous. Again, like the last palette I talked about, the um, Modern Renaissance, the colors you can find in other palettes. So, I mean, when it comes down to creative new colors, um, I don't think that you... This will be any earth shattering, like brand new colors I don't have, you know, but generally overall, this is a really exceptional palette. I have one major, 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 major problem with it. And it's not even a problem. It's just like, I think this is the laziest thing they did. And it's the fact that they have like a black in here. And it's a beautiful, wonderful black. Do not get me wrong. The quality of the black is really nice, but I feel like that to put a black in a palette like this is kind of like you didn't know what color to put here so you put black now some people love to do black for smoky eyes personally when I do smoky eyes I use um, uh, eyeliner or like a gel eyeliner is what I use I don't generally use um, powder I like to use powder when I do powder liner but I already have like two or three other palettes that have a jet black like Generally, if you have more than two or three palettes, you'll probably have a jet black. So since this is a new palette from them, I kind of think that it was kind of almost a little lazy for them to put in the jet black. Now, if you don't have a jet black um, eyeshadow, theirs is fantastic. It gives you a nice clean line. Everything's really nice and opaque. You can smudge it out to give yourself a really nice look. So it's really nice. But for me, like, they could have added, like, a nice, super rich, chocolatey dark brown or maybe a super rich, like, since they don't really have any matte burgundies, they could have done, like, a really dark brownie plum up here. Like, they really kind of dropped the ball on this. So that's kind of the thing that I was kind of like, eh. But overall, it's really nice. Um, 
I have noticed there's a little bit of fallout with some of the colors. Again, when I say fallout, I know that some eyeshadows will always have fallout. This is more than most. This is after I tap off the brush, I put it on my lid, and it's still, I'm trying to pick my nose, it's still falling down here, even after I tap it out and don't use that much. Specifically, the one that tends to be the biggest troublemaker, which is one of my favorites to use, which is the pink nude. Every time. But generally the other ones haven't been a big issue. Generally I've noticed it with the matte ones and not so much with the shimmers. Um, when it comes down to blendability, they blend really nicely. Some of them are a little bit hard to blend together, but that's mostly probably because my level of expertise of blending is really poor. Um, but I found that it's easier for me to blend other Lorac palettes. It's weird. It's I don't know. But on blendability it's still really easy like I'm not saying like it's not easy it's just not as easy as the other Lorac products I have but that could just be me nit nitpicking and since I've only used this for a week and I've only used like half of the colors um, but generally the color selection of this is really nice the shimmers are really beautiful I particularly for the shimmers my favorite is amethyst I love this one it looks I don't know if you can see it looks like dark like super dark chocolate brown with just a hint of plum and then it just got this really pretty like subtle shimmer to it. I wish they had a comparable color to this here. That's kind of like where I was like eh. But overall this is a beautiful palette. I really like the fact that it's, I love it when Lorac comes out with the different colored palettes, not the black. Like I like the unzip palettes and this one's different so I know which of my Lorac palettes because I kind of keep all the palettes together is what. So I want to reach for this one, I grab this one and I know I'm getting the Pro Palette 3. Um, generally, for a grade, I'm going to give this palette a B plus. Um, mostly because like the fallout isn't a big issue, the blendability again that's probably me and not the palette. Uh, because again, these the quality of these are really creamy, they're really pigmented, they're really beautiful. It's just probably like I might be using the wrong brush, or you know I'm not very good at it to begin with, and maybe the other ones are super easy, and I'm just kind of like spoiled. But generally, the reason why this gets a B plus and not an A is because of the black. Again, like that is kind of like a thing for me. Like when I go into palettes and when I'm buying new palettes, when I'm buying palettes like this, I'm not trying to buy colors that I can get one-offs of. I'm trying to get unique colors that create a really nice experience. Like when I wear this palette, I want to know that I'm wearing, <clears throat> excuse me, this palette. Because generally when I wear eye makeup, I usually stick with one palette because I don't have a really nice area set up to do my makeup. So I kind of grab all the makeup and I run to the mirror in my bathroom. And so I don't like to carry a lot of things with me. And so, like, I feel like since I really love this amethyst, I would love, like, a matte version that was either darker or a little bit lighter to really work with this one the best. And I feel like the black is just, for me, again, this is my personal opinion, for me it was just a little bit lazy. But it is a very good quality black. So I'm not saying that it's a cheap black. It's very nice black and if you don't have a black eyeshadow you'll probably be tickled that you've got a really nice one but that's why this gets a B plus from me do I think it's worth the price absolutely I'm one of those people that think all Lorac products are worth the price because they're always really good do I think the colors are super creative and adventurous not so much but again the colors are really nice they're the colors I look for every color in here is slightly different than other colors that I would say are dupes of so I haven't, aside from the black, found any of these colors that are, exa are an exact match to any colors I previously have, palettes or single or duo or quad or whatever. So I was really excited to get this. Um, I have not been let down. And actually when I ordered it, I knew that the black was already in there. So it's not like I opened it and I was like, oh no, it's this black. It's I knew it was going to be in there and it was still okay for me to order it. Um, and I do enjoy the black when I use it, again, but it's like I already have like three other really good black eyeshadows that now are just kind of like either I use those or I don't, and it's like I don't need that many black eyeshadows. I don't. Anyway, so that's my um, critique review on the Lorac Pro palette. Again, I'm going to link below a bunch of like swatches um, for people and also... Um, just to let you know that, you know, I love palettes, so I'm going to do a lot of reviews on palettes um, because I'm kind of obsessed with them. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, like and subscribe, or just like, or just subscribe, or just slightly, silently applause for me behind your computer, or do nothing. It's up to you. Um, and if you didn't, I'm so sorry you wasted your time. But in any case, 
stay happy, healthy, have a good month, day, year, whatever, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Pancakes, pancakes, pancakes. Being shy. You're usually not shy. Who's shy? Oh, he's a good boy.